Hello, today we're going to learn a second grade addition and subtraction strategy with my dog Scoop. So today we're going to learn how to do a pictorial representation of a place value chart with vertical subtraction. Um, and so Scoop always thinks that drawing a picture really helps her understanding. And when we did addition on a place value chart, we would bundle 10 ones and trade them in for a 10. Well, since subtraction is the opposite of addition, we are going to unbundle. Meaning if we have one 10, we can trade it in for 10 ones. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So in my place value chart, I think I'm only gonna have two columns here because 35 and 16 are both made up of 1s and 10s. And I can use the letter O for 1s and the letter T for 10s. Or I could also write my title, the number 1 with the letter S next to it, and the number 10 with the letter S next to it. Either one of those is an acceptable representation. Now here's what's different about addition and subtraction. In addition, we put both numbers in our place value chart. In subtraction, we're just going to put our first number, what we're trying to take away from. So 35 is made up of 5 1s and 3 10s. So we decompose that, and then we're going to mimic that in our diagram. So I put 3 10s in my 10s place, and I'm going to put 5 1s in my 1s place. And now when I go to take away 16, I'm looking to take away 6 1s, and 110. Well, I'm always going to start with my ones place first. So we're always going to work this way from right to left in our subtraction table. And so I try and take away six ones. Uh, 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 I don't have six ones to take away. So that's really this math fact that if I have five of something, I can't take six away from it in second grade. So what we need to do is called unbundling. I'm going to make a trade so I have enough ones to take away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of these tens and I'm going to send him over here as ten ones. And I always draw five ones on top and five ones on the bottom. Okay, I'm making my ten look like an actual ten frame. So I need to cross out this ten that I've unbundled. So now I think we can take six away over here. So if I take six away, two, three, four, five, six, I see how many dots are left. Four and five means there are nine dots left. And so when I go to my vertical chart, what we've done is we've taken one of these tens away and left two tens, but we've also really Instead of having five ones, we've had 15 ones. And so the fact really shown here is that 15 minus 6 gives us our nine ones that are left over here. Likewise, I still need to take away from my tens. It says I need to take away one ten, so I take him away, and I have one ten left. And that's echoed in my vertical chart. Two tens minus one ten is 110. So 35 minus 16 is 19. Let's look at a second example. This one's a little harder because again my place value chart gets bigger. Uh, 115 is made up of 1 100, 110, and 5 ones. So I'm going to need three places on my place value chart and I am going to use the letters H for hundreds, T for tens, and O for ones. And again, I want to decompose and look at 38, which is made up of 30 and 8. So I always take my bigger number and represent that in my chart, because that's what I'm going to take away from. So I have 1 100, 1 10, and 5 ones and I write them all in a nice row. But I run into the same problem again. I need to take away from my ones first. I'm going to work right to left. And I've got this math fact, five ones minus eight ones. Well, I can't go to that column and take eight ones away. So 
I need to take from the 10. I'm going to unbundle this 10. I'm going to take him and send him over here, and he's going to be represented as 10 ones. Five on top, five on the bottom, and since I've traded in that 10, I cross him out. Now I can take away my 8, because now what I have over here is I have zero things left in my ones column, but I have 15 ones now, and that's what we did in our bundling. So now I just need to do 15 minus 8. So I'm going to take away all five of these, and then I'm going to take away three more, and that leaves me with seven left in my ones column. I know my basic math fact is 15 minus 8 is 7. Okay, now I need to take away from my tens. I need to take three away in my tens column, but I don't even have anything there to take away. So I'm going to unbundle again. I'm going to take this 100, and I'm going to trade him in for 10 tens. The same idea worked when we took 110 and traded it in for 10 ones. Now this gets represented in my vertical chart because I'm going to take away that 1 100, and now I have 10 tens. Well, from 10 tens, I'm going to take away three ones. That leaves me with seven tens. And I can see this in my chart as 10 minus 3 is 7. I have nothing left in my hundreds chart, and I don't have to take anything away from it. So 115 minus 38 is 77. This has been another second grade addition and subtraction strategy. Thank you.